Hey you, come here. So I see that you clicked on this video to get the top 10 spots in Vegas, huh? Okay, enough mafia talk. So this year, I showed up about 200 different places all around Las Vegas in 2021. That's insane. So for my end of the year video, I do wanna show you guys the top 10 places to visit in Las Vegas from all those 200 places that I visited in 2021. It was a freaking hard list to put together, but I really adore these places, so I'm really hoping you guys do too. And if you guys haven't seen my videos before, I always put bloopers at the very end of each video. So after this list, make sure you stick around so you can see some of my favorite bloopers of the year. But yeah, let's get started. Here's the top 10 places to visit in Las Vegas. Oh, and uh, the first one might look a little familiar. So now we're here at the Venetian Hotel. We are right by the uh, gondola area where they serenade them. Uh, there is a hidden gem amongst this area. What do you think it is? I don't know. You don't know? You need to tell me. Huh? Okay. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Oh. Wow. Isn't this so cool? I've never knew about this. This is pretty cool. I never knew about this spot. This is really cute. I've never noticed it like from down there either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying really hard to get you to notice. I was like, maybe he'll look at the bridge. But no, nobody ever like looks at it. Even me, it took me years before I found out about this place. I had a friend tell me about it. And even, and I've even walked into the restaurant or this little cute little cafe yeah. years before. Okay, that's why I say it's like the hidden best. Gem. Hidden. Yes, best hidden gem. Literal. These pilots are super professional, but they just know how to make the ride really exciting. So when you do get off, there's gonna be the cutest little picnic set up for you. They're gonna have waters, soft drinks, even champagne for you. After you land, you are here about for 30 to 40 minutes and you could just, you know, hang out, take all the pictures that you want and just enjoy an amazing sunset. So the flight time was about like 15 minutes, so it wasn't anything too long. I thought actually it was like the perfect amount to be in the helicopter, just come out here, chill, and just take these awesome views. I don't know, just being up here kind of makes you appreciate Vegas that much more. I think it's like the perfect helicopter flight because it's not all the way to the Grand Canyon and it's not just doing the Las Vegas Strip. You kind of get a little bit of both, a little bit of a neon and a little bit of nature. For this spot, they are located on the north side of the Arts District. It is a little bit away from everything, so it's a very quiet area. But the moment Letty's got here, I don't think it's going to be quiet anymore. I'm beyond excited to show off Letty's. Because when her original location first opened 10 years ago, Leticia's Cocina, that was my favorite restaurant in the entire city. So now they've opened up a smaller location, and this is dedicated to be a little bit more casual and more of a taqueria. What I love about their menu is that everything is reasonably priced and served as small leads. So it's perfectly set up so you could order many dishes and sample more. I think this place is so gorgeous. I just love the ambience in here. Everything feels so dapper. But can we just have a moment for this view? I really do love the location of this rooftop because since we are at the very end of the strip, you do get a straight shot of Las Vegas Boulevard. If you do want a view that is more strip driven, I think this is up there. Plus, they do offer both indoor and outdoor seating, which is perfect. However, though, it does depend on the weather. So if you want to come to Skyfall, they do take reservations on the Delano website and they do accept walk-ins as well. Now, if you do want to sit on the patio, they do have a food and beverage minimum to sit out there. So make sure you ask your host when you make your reservation. So this is going to be in Restaurant Row, which is kind of like a little hallway that connects Venetian to Palazzo. And like just looking at the pictures of this place, it all looks super amazing. First of all, this all smells really good. This one is called Mandilli di Seta. It's made with egg pasta covered with some almond basil pesto. Our third plate is called Piemontesi. It's also kind of like ravioli, beef short rib meat in there, Reggiano cream sauce. The pasta itself, like, they roll it out super thin and it just gives it such a like, it's like paper thin. It smells like butter, mm. it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, super creamy. The inside of this is just super creamy, like it explodes in your mouth when you bite into it. The inside is like so soft and yeah, it melts in your mouth. Yeah, like super cheesy, super creamy. They definitely grinded the heck out of that cheese to make it that smooth. Oh my god. Yeah. This is my favorite. <laughs> All of them super amazing though. Like, 
the tails is definitely a place you have to come try. For this brunch place, we're located at the Mandalay Bay. And it's been one of my favorite brunches for years. Not just because it's Mexican, but because it's all you can eat. Border Grill does their brunch on Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Currently, the price is going to be $43.99. And you're going to get a menu that includes 16 items. So since it is unlimited, you can try all their items and order them as many times as you like. I know 16 dishes sounds like a lot, but they do come in small portions. That way you can try them all and you don't have to worry about getting full off of the first few plates. They also have bottomless mimosas, Bloody Marys, and micheladas for $26.99 a person. I really like their mimosas. You're going to get a full bottle of champagne at the table with juices on the side so you can customize your own mimosa. And I actually think it's kind of cool because you get to pour as much juice as you want in your own drink. This is a beautiful chandelier bar. I don't know if I've ever seen a bigger chandelier in my life. It must have thousands of crystal beads and strands. I love this lounge because it has multiple stories to choose from. You got the bottom of the chandelier, inside of the chandelier, and top of the chandelier. And I really love being inside of the chandelier. This is considered level one and a half. Now each level is open during different times, so make sure you double check on their website for the hour. And they are only walking, so I would say come during off peak time. Really quick before I show you guys my top three. Um, for one of them, I'm basically showing off an entire casino because I really love everything that this place has to offer. So yeah, I'm putting a whole resort in there. Another one is gonna be a place that I just love walking into. I love the whole vibe. And it doesn't exactly scream Vegas, but it's definitely a place that I think you guys are gonna like. So you definitely have to put this one on your list. And another one is a place that is a little bit off the beaten path, but I think it's definitely worth the trip. And I have shown this place off twice this year. That's how much I like it. Here's my top three. If you're looking for a pool that feels like a constant party, Cirque is the place to be. The music is always blasting, hotel guests and non-hotel guests are always welcome, and the most obvious reason people come, their huge TV. It's an LED screen that's 135 feet long by 40 feet high. We can play up to 28 games if ever needed. One might even say it's one of the best places to watch sports. This sportsbook is one of the coolest places ever. It has three different levels, 350 stadium seats, plus another 44 seats on the second level with video poker in front of them. Because why not gamble and watch sports at the same time, right? And no big deal, but they have this huge LED screen with 78 million pixels, and it seems to be about three stories high. And if ever needed, they can split it up into 19 different games. So we're starting downtown in the new Circa Hotel. So we're on the top floor, which is gonna be level 60, and this place right here is called Legacy Club. And no, it's not a club, far from it. It is called Legacy Club because it's a tribute to all the great people that made Vegas what it is today. They do have an indoor area and an outdoor patio that you just have to check out. opened in September of 2020, so we're about to hit the one-year mark, and the response has been like nothing else before. So when people ask me how to describe Area 15, I don't know, I always say it's like stepping into year 3000. Everything is very neon, there's a lot of art, food venues, and even bars, and even a little bit of shopping. So as you guys can see, there are so many things that you could do here at Area 15. It's great for all ages and they're not even done. They keep on adding new things, so it's a great place to come back. And also, as you saw, it's totally a different world in there, so it's a great place also to kind of escape reality for a little bit. So for this next spot, I brought you to Hard Hat Lounge. Uh, it is a bar, but we're not here for the drinks. We're actually here for the pizza. Okay, very cool. I like pizza. You ready, Matt? I'm ready. <laughs> Enough filming, let's eat, Norma. <laughs> Isn't this just so beautiful? It's going to be $14 for the pizza itself uh, with just cheese if you want to do toppings. It's a dollar for each topping, $2 if you want to do uh, vegan toppings. Very hot, just came out. Yeah. Bottom looks 
beautiful. Ooh. I love that. Ooh, can't even hold it. However, though, I will say eat this hot. Like, don't take it home, don't take it like yeah. back to your hotel, just eat it here because it's 10 times better I if you eat it fresh. That, for sure. Mm. Yo, Norma. Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> You like it? Mm -hmm. mm. That's so good. Damn, this is good. Oh my God. This is so good. Nice and crispy. Yum. <laughs> There's so much flavor in this. Nice and soft on the inside, but the outside is like the perfect crunch you need for the Detroit style. Best sauce. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. Oh, yeah. Full of everything sauce. It's mm -hmm. the real deal. This is damn good. And it's just so deliciousness. I haven't had this good of a pizza in so long. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd never heard about this place until Norma was talking about it uh, in her last video when she was here. Like, I gotta try that eventually, so I'm glad I'm trying it now. It's funny, we're sitting at the exact same table that me and Pompsy filmed this set too. Right here? Yum. <laughs> Let's go! Thank you so much for watching my top 10. It was really hard to only choose 10 because I really love all the places that I've shown off this year. Like, I wish I could have done 100. And now for some bloopers. Now, all year I've been making videos, but sometimes food gives me the most problems. I either encounter spiciness, I'm making a mess, or the food portions are just too big. You'll see. Together. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm in my eye. <laughs> hot, hot. Oh my god! Oh my god! Like I went, oh man! Ah. Up seashell and ah, oysters. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't get my phone. Oh man! I gotta bring things. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, whatever he does. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't worry about I it. I swear. I swear. You don't need it on there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Every time. Can <laughs> 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 I eat this coffee? <laughs> oh, it's not classy. <laughs> the sauce, I think that's what you're tasting. Cheese bowl. Food. You know, this store has fourth best restaurant. This smells amazing. You just have hot. Oh my god, it's so hot. Now for this next set, you're gonna see me lose my patience a little bit. I wanna make these videos as perfect as possible, but I'm not on a movie set, so things out of my control happen all the time. And then I end up getting mad at myself because I'm either messing up my words, messing up my lines, and apparently I did that thing. I'm not perfect, so I am trying to grow a thicker skin here over time. The edible car. See, the best Mexican. This is some good. Gosh, I'm trying to film here. <laughs> we have two great all day deal specials. Deal specials there, or this could be your home meal. Not a. <laughs> no. What? Date. <laughs> and um, No. <laughs> and candles. The other. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be okay now. <laughs> that everything is reasonably. Pla uh, reasonably. <laughs> Jam and roasted, roasted, ah, roasted. Fukuoka <laughs> side of their house kitchen, kitchen. And I think we can see why. Why? I have manchego grits at the bottom. Manchego. <laughs> they have some Asian dishes. Asian. Okay, we're back to the first boss. The boss. Looks amazing. This one we also show some carrot. Carrot. So no, have, no, sit down. Sit down. You're distracting me. Issues from the. I hate myself. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> I can't talk. But I think the worst part uh, is the wind. Do this hotel in Las Vegas. Mm. Got a little stupid wind. <laughs> it's always windy when I film. I swear. I swear, guys. Wind is your worst enemy when you're trying to make the video. More appropriate. Like this is their hair. Now the pull-up. Rated from top to bottom. Ugh. Did I get it? Local. 
Jesus. We can stop it. Oh my god. Look at bugs. I hate bugs. If this fly leaves me alone, Jesus. <laughs> Sandy and the attack of the flies. It doesn't make you low. There's ants all over the place. <laughs> I feel them crawling on my legs. Ow. Your butter? And then you can just get it. I almost had it. As you cover it. <laughs> More different day. That's not what I meant. <laughs> what? It's gonna be there. Now, you do have to be. About to win Tour. Next up are my collabs. You guys thought you were gonna escape this one, but no, I got you guys too. Here's some of my favorite bloopers of the people who collab with me. I love you guys. Hey guys. Oh, that's too hot. <laughs> I brought a very special guest with me. What's up, everybody? What are these? Perfect. Like, like, those little pickle, uh, what are those pickle balls? I forgot what they're called. They're like you're little mini pickled. Uh, Not anchovies. No, they're like pickles. <laughs> like small pick, small pickles. <laughs> Not pickles. Hold on. <laughs> I will look this up. Capers. There you Capers. go. Um, you can't hear the crack on it, but when you do have the uh, the torch on it, it's good. Like the creme brulee is thicker on the inside. Like usually it's not as thick. That's, it's that thinner. Came out, that came out wrong. <laughs> Ow! Look, I got a boo boo. Did you really? See? <laughs> Barely anything. <laughs> you guys ever watch Mom and Pan on? She never does one take. She's making me get back on this slide again. Hey, can I come along? Yeah, let's go. All right, cool. No, Thanks. that was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Locations are my secret. No, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. It's really awkward. <laughs> I want to go surfing. Sorry. Okay. I just shook my hand in a weird way. <laughs> and I bought. I bought. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Tim's like, wait a minute. Pho? Did you say pho? I love pho. I have a couple good spots no. down the road. <laughs> No, you have to cook, like walk faster. Than oh, okay, okay. Like you're like you're actually walking. <laughs> time of the year. Stay. I'm sorry. One more time. Right now, Thank pretend you. like you're ordering the oxtail, even though he's not there. But pretend like you're ordering it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to eat. <laughs> Tabasco. <laughs> That's going on the bloopers for sure. Kind of in a little bit of a weird area. It's right by UNLV. He eats, so I'm really pumped to do this video with you here in Ed. I'm screwing up too. <laughs> Mater tots are excellent. It's very tasteful. Is that a word? Is it a tasteful word? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Flavorful. Flavorful. Yeah, that's why. Oh, it's burning me. <laughs> 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 it's so crunchy, got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Is that how it helps? Stop coughing. That doesn't help. No, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, you saved my life. <laughs> we just I met. I think I gotta be like, seconds. I gotta keep stay down you here, I think, right? Do you, oh, yeah. my, do you wanna use my trap? <laughs> Today, we're gonna go try pizza. I have that sucked already. <laughs> Sorry, the slice is on the strip. <laughs> kind of, yeah. You're a grandma slice. What? <laughs> 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 that, yeah, thank you so much. It's a choreographed movement. I know. Can you tell Lydia's done this before? <laughs> it's it's really cool because it's it's not like a like a woo. It's like a <laughs> Yeah, perfect. <laughs> So that's the way you say foie gras. Yep. Oh, foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cough. You're gonna get a sauna. 
And here's finally my favorite ones of the entire year, with a few never before seen. I was too embarrassed to show them off at the time, and I still kind of am, so I'm just gonna throw them randomly in there and not say which ones they are. But here you go, my favorite bloopers of the year. These blends in very well with the burger, but when you... Oh my god, it's getting <laughs> Oh my god, you guys caught that on camera. My dog. I thought it was like a wolf or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Ah! I didn't fall! <laughs> yes! I was so sure I was gonna fall. You know what it is? Huh? I think I'm treating it like roller skates. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> can't go on with Wong. You can't go along with a waffle. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm gonna hit my face. <laughs> minus, okay. Minus five. Minus five. Ah, oh, shut up. Like, <laughs> my God. <laughs> what people don't know is that. Everywhere Norma goes, she's offered for a free drink and she always says no. Like, she doesn't think about her videographer. Like, he's thirsty most of the times, but no. You want a drink? No, no. It's a free drink. No, 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 no. My gosh. I don't need you drunk on the job legs. Shaking up. <laughs> you got a lot of zombies now. <laughs> Let's. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> Let me do it again. <laughs> Fudge. Wait! <Ah. laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> Or like, <laughs> so. so the jungle theme restaurant. It's also a store. They have moving animals, talking trees. The cute. This is so much fun. Do you agree? Oh yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no trouble. All right. I'm gone. Mommy, he kept holding on to my coat. Here. Camera one. <laughs> oh, it's a light bulb. Oh my god. Did you blow it out? <laughs> yeah. I mean, wipe down. Mm -hmm. I still look cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oops. My bad. Thank you so much for watching my bloopers, guys. I know it's my favorite when I see them at the end of movies and shows, so hopefully it ends up leaving you guys with a smile. And finally, I just want to say thank you to a few people. To everyone who's ever helped me make my videos. Whether if I ask you to come along and hold a camera, or simply for your company so I don't look like a crazy person talking to myself, and if you were willing to come out on the video. Thank you so much for helping out, and I love every single one of you. To all the people that I've collaborated with. I know we had so much fun making our videos together and I feel honored and blessed to have you guys as friends too. And last but not least, all the businesses who welcomed me with open arms and allowed me to feature you guys on my channel. All the owners of these places, the creators, managers, and all the employees who helped. You guys could have told me to take a hike, and I'm not gonna lie, there were some places that did tell me to F off, but to the ones who didn't, you guys saw some sort of value in my channel and allowed me in. So to you guys, I thank you. I wouldn't have this channel without you. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. 2021 was definitely a game changer for me. It's the year that I got my new camera and I took my channel way more seriously. I've definitely gone through a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, and a lot of sacrifices where I had to basically choose having to work on my videos over going out. But it was also the year that pushed me to do things I've never done before and experience amazing adventures all over the city. And all of that made me love Las Vegas even more, so I wouldn't change a thing. I love you all and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Here's to next year. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment whatever the hell you want. Just comment something. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.